occurred and, and handled appropriately. That's common sense. Let me ask you, Mr. Haygood, I, um, your testimony is very interesting. Thank you for the innovative things you've done. I understand that Southern is an affiliate member of the Fusion Industry Association, which is something that many of us on a bipartisan basis here in Congress are very interested in and supportive of. Can you tell us anything about your company's interest in fusion and any activities in this area that you've been engaged in to date? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you, Ranking Member Lofgren. And I also have to note that our Southern Power subsidiary has 14 solar and battery facilities in California, totaling over 1,450 megawatts. Thank you. Um, so our, we have a proprietary research and development team. They have an object objective to determine the value proposition of fusion technology. Currently, the main activity is technology scouting via EPRI Fusion Forum, Fusion Industry Association, or FIA, and direct engagement with fusion developers. Participation in the FIA allows us to easily access many of the stakeholders in the fusion community and maintain awareness of policy and regulatory decisions affecting fusion deployment. One of the things, thinking about fusion, there is a lot of venture capital money in, uh, in the fusion space, actually more than the federal government is spending on fusion uh, at, at this point, if you discount the national, uh, the weapons program. Um, but at some point, once ignition is achieved, they're going to be in the same spot as you were with the first you know, advanced nuclear thing, and they're going to need to be able to develop this stuff. Have you, I don't know if you've had discussions with the Fusion Industry Association or that, whether your company might be in a position to bring that to uh, online or whether that's premature. Some of these uh, venture-funded companies are predicting that they will be able to produce to the grid in 2028, 2029 time frame. I don't know if that's too, too arcane to ask you, Mr. Haygood, but it's an important issue for the committee. Yeah, most of our objectives are to make sure we understand different technologies and to stay engaged. Uh, we believe there's going to be a broad solution of technologies that are needed in the future, and we want to be, uh, we want to have a good understanding of all of them. Thank you very much, and uh, Mr.